my thoughts. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watch the cowards get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite sized rappers down sense of my What the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle Global for the Thank You Celebration Part 2. So, I have a lot of friend points. I am almost at a million friend points. And, as you can see there, 985,000. <laughs> it's a lot of friend points. So, I got a lot to spend. And keep in mind, this is after I went about 400,000 friend points deep when um, LR... Um, Great Sandman 1 and 2 came out. So it took me a long time to get all 24 copies because essentially you wanted the one copy, four dupes, and then 10, was it 24 copies? Yeah, one copy, you get nine to increase that copy to, I say 10 out of 10, so that's 10. You get another 10 to increase him from 10 out of 10 to 20 out of 20, and then you get four to open up the path. So yeah, it was 24 copies. Took me about 400, I think 400, 30,000, 440,000 friend points. Um, and we've worked our way back up because we were more than a million at that point. So we've worked our way back up to almost a million again. And uh, this time we can get a ton of different prizes when you do the friend summons. In case you guys don't know, this is part of the thank you celebration part two. Uh, now that the uh, dual Doken Fest is pretty much over, we do not want to go to missions. We want to go to this right here. So. Yeah, here it is right here. Thank you, Special Friend Summon. To express our gratitude for your support, the Thank You Special Friend Summon is now on. Uh, get bonus items such as Awakening Medals, Training Locations um, by performing multi-summons. You also have a chance to recruit Elder Kai. So um, the following are available to get as a bonus. Hercule Statue Platinum, uh, Elder Dozing Kai, and Normal Elder Kai. Uh, Awakening Metals, Supreme Kai's and Elder Kai's, and Training Location, Beerus' Planet, Supreme Kai's Planet, and the Gravity changer, Chamber, 150 Gs. Uh, training Items is 10 weighted, 10-ton uh, weighted, um, or I'm sorry, 10-ton weights, and weighted clothing of each type. So that's actually pretty darn good. Just keep in mind you're not going to get anything if you do single summons. So just do not waste your time um, with the, you know, with that. So... We're going to jump straight into it. We're going to see how far we can get into our uh, friend points. Now, uh, the truth made a very good point on his channel, uh, pretty much saying that, hey, when they did these friend summons, it's usually before they drop an, an LR, a friend LR. So uh, they must have done this before with the um, LR Sam and 1 and 2, where they did this type of friend you know summon thank you celebration where they gave you extra stuff in the summons uh to kind of have you deplete your friend points before a new lr came out so i mean my plan was to pretty much go a few hundred thousand friend points in and um maybe like two three hundred thousand just to kind of get an idea um yeah so there it is bonus item we got a beer's planet so that's pretty good we'll take that um but yeah we're gonna go that deep two three hundred thousand i don't know if i'm gonna do all of that in one video it really depends on <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea how many summons we're gonna end up doing but we're just gonna try to chip away at the massive amount of friend points that we have and um the good thing is that we can use all these characters or the majority of the characters and feed them to the Baba shop, so you're getting Baba points when you do that. Or you can just sell them for Zenny if you want. You know, all the Hercule statues you get, you can sell them for Zenny, which is always good. And if you have any characters that need to be trained, um, you know, leveled up or whatever, then you're going to have cats that um, are going to be able to, you know, level up your, uh, your units. So, all in all, it's a very, very good celebration that they have. I really appreciate them doing this. Uh, especially because you're going to get free Elder Kai. They have an Elder Kai banner going on right now. So they really didn't have to do this. 25 stones for 5 Elder Kais. So they could have just been like, oh, well, there's your, um, you know, that's how you get Elder Kais. But they're doing this thank you celebration. Super cool. I appreciate it. 
let's see uh, if we're gonna let's see if we even get an elder Kai this video um, we're getting a lot of training items which training locations I should say which is not terrible I mean at the end of the day it always helps out in leveling units especially if you're trying to farm out um, I'll take that haven't seen a super Vegito in a long time I would have loved to see that during the 700 800 stones I went in on the Android banner the LR Android banner <sighs> that was not a fun time uh, but regardless so yeah, I mean, we're just, again, we'll be happy if we get one Elder Kai. If we get some Dozy Kais out of this, that'd be very nice too. Um, and if we get some, like, weighted clothing and stuff. So the point that I was going to make is, um, yeah, another uh, Kami's Lookout. point that I was going to make about, particularly about um, the, uh, that's always good too. Uh, I, I hope I see all this when the Kalen Khalifa banner come out. <laughs> If I see the Herculon Boo, if I see Super Vegito, I'm gonna be a very, very happy, uh, happy man. But I have to farm the super attack of the AGL uh, Final Form Frieza. So the one with his tail cut off, um, he does like, you know, a mass attack. He attacks all enemies. So I have to farm out his super attack. And in case you guys don't know, the uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie event has a um, Frieza on stage three that you can actually farm. He's a free-to-play character. And um, once you get him to his uh, UR form, not TUR, but his just level 100 UR form, when he's level 100, right? Um, at that point, he will, uh, well, not even level 100. You just go, he's SSR already, and then you just get him to, um, yeah, it would be UR. It would be UR, so he'd be level 100. Um, so anyway, what's cool, once you get him to that, he will feed 100% into the that Frieza, and he'll also feed in 100% to the strength final form Frieza, the one who, when he gets attacked, will um, gain. So if he gets attacked and then he attacks, he'll gain an extra 100% attack. Uh, which is pretty darn good and that's a combo right there so i have to farm those i have to level those up what is this <laughs> i swear if you want to just hunt some cool animations go into the friend summon and you'll just be overloaded with like the sickest animations ever you're just gonna be like yo this luck is insane. They just give you like the funniest stuff. Like, well, LR will give you a double screen crack for LR androids. You know, it's like, does it feel good? No. Okay. So here it goes. One of each weighted clothing. That's pretty nice. Can never use too many, um, you know, weight, weighted clothing. Can never use too many training items. But yeah, that that is like in my eyes. Like, I'm going to need a lot of units to feed in. I'm going to need a lot of training items. I'm going to need, you know, awakening items. So getting um, this banner is very, very nice. And it's going to lead in preparation. If we can get some Elder Kais and some Grand Kai, Oh, well, not Grand Kais, but Dozy Kais. It's going to lead in preparation to hopefully me pulling LR Kaelin Khalifla um, when she comes out on her own banner. Because um, as it is right now, what are we going to get? Come on, don't, uh, don't, don't play with our emotions. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get a West Kai times three. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> LRK and Khalifa, you just got to straight up throw 20, you know, you got to throw 20 Elder Kais at them because it's Kale and Khalifa. It's not Kale by herself or Khalifa by herself. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's, and it's funny too because people, uh, a lot of people say like, yo, that banner's trash. Banner's not a great banner. Hopefully they change it a tad bit. Um, for, okay, I'm going to take that too, Bobbities. Um, hopefully they change it a tad bit, but I actually do like the strength... Um, what's it called? The strength kale and the tech califla that's on the banner. I'm pretty sure that's who is on that banner. I actually want to double check real fast while I'm... Um, going through these summons and see exactly who is on the Kaelic Leafla banner. Uh, it'd be interesting if they keep it exactly the same, which they more than, you know, uh, more than have the right to do um, because it is an LR banner and LR banners are typically pretty bad. Um, it wasn't a Rising Dragon Carnival banner and that's a good thing. That would have been really bad if it was Rising Okay, we're going to get Turtle Shells. I'll take that. 
for sure we'll take that. <clears throat> I feel like we're not even scratching the surface here. Um, did I miss? Oh, I'm not there there. Okay. So we're going to pull back. I got to actually I wanted to avoid that right there. So, hmm. Yeah, I mean, the banner is pretty bad. Um, but there's some units that are that are pretty useful, actually, especially on a Peppy Gals team. Like, I'm looking at it right now, and it, in case you guys don't know who's on the LR Kale and Khalifla banner, like, you have the AGL Kale and Khalifla, who is the unit that turns into the LR. You have a strength um, base form Kale, um, who is actually a pretty solid unit. If I remember correctly, she does not have a Doken Awakening, and I guess the Khalifla, the Tech Khalifla doesn't have a Doken Awakening either, but they're both on Peppy Gal's team. Oh, I got a Dozy Cut, that's good. Uh, they're both very, like, Peppy Galley, I guess, I don't know. Uh, the Intelligence Ribriand, who's a fantastic card, is on that banner, and I actually would like to get a few more copies. I would love to rainbow her. Um, the uh, Physical Kefla is also on that banner and she's a beast in her own right on Patara. She can be a Patara lead, obviously. I think she was the first Patara lead. Am I right on that? Um, but yeah, she's very, very good. Unfortunately, I have her rainbow though. I may use some copies to um, to change some additionals into crit because I put her all additional. Um, oh, I'll take that. Uh, Elder Kai Awakening Metal. Um, you have uh, one of the best supports in the game, Bala or um bra on japan so that tech bala is just four key what attack 40 percent or something like that it's actually pretty crazy so she's very very strong um you have the physical young chi chi who's um actually pretty decent if i remember correctly i'm pretty sure she's not a terrible card let me actually find her real fast see if i can uh locate her yeah so here she is I don't think she has a Doken Awakening, if I remember correctly. Yeah, attack 180% when performing a super attack. And then attack minus 60% for three turns after receiving an attack. Okay, so maybe not as good as I remember. But she does have a Doken Awakening. And um, wow, so attack 250% up. But she gains defense, though. So let's actually pull it up while I'm uh, still summoning here. And seeing what I can get. This this Chi Chi actually seems pretty insane. Seems kind of like oh, I didn't even see what I got there. But she seems like one of those um Master Roshi units. Um where the tech Master Roshi that gives himself an insane boost of attack for like one turn, and then that's it, you know? So um alright, so if I take a look for this physical Chi Chi. Did they not put her on Peppy Gals? Oh, that's actually the dirt. That is the dirt that they didn't put her on Peppy Gals. Come on, she's real Peppy. She is real Peppy. Alright, so we are getting poop here. What is going to be our... Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, but what we're going to get for our reward... Alright, rare Hercule statue. Okay, so taking a look at the Chi Chi, um, she's attack 250% when performing a super attack, attack minus 50% for three turns after receiving attack, and defense 150% when there's an ally on the team whose name includes Youth Goku. So as long as she's on the Youth Goku team, she has 120, 250% super attack. That actually sounds insane, that Chi Chi. And she has a high chance of stun, which is pretty insane. She's on Youth and Dragon Ball Saga. Anyway, so that's the Chi Chi there. Um, you also have the Tech uh, Dragon Ball Super 18, who's pretty solid. Yeah, I'm going until I get an Elder Kai, bro. Like, come on now. Don't play with me, Doken Battle. I got all night. I got all night. Um, the Physical Kale is on there, the AGL Khalifla is on there, the Intelligence Hit is on there, who should be getting an Extreme Z Awakening. I can't imagine he wouldn't, um, because he's such a bad card. Uh, the AGL Godku is on there, and then you have three SRs. So, um, I mean, is it bad? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's not an insane amount of featured units, though. That's 2, 4, 5... 
But yeah, 12 featured units. I mean, that's not crazy, crazy, where it's like, don't even think about summoning. I mean, I've probably seen worse. Um, and there's some decent units on there. Like, I have some of them rainbowed, but Intelligence Ribrian I'd like to get. The Tech Khalifla and the Strength Kale I'd like to get. Obviously, the LRs I'd like to get. Um, the Chi Chi would be interesting. The Chi Chi would be interesting. The problem is I have the AGL Khalifla rainbowed. I have the Physical Kale rainbowed. I have the Tech 18 rainbowed. I have the Tech Bulla rainbowed. And I have the Physical Kefla rainbowed as well. I actually rainbowed the Physical Kefla on her banner. So, all right, we got another Dozy Kai. That's also good. So, like, I have a ton of units rainbow. There's really one, two... I mean, I guess with the the intelligence hit, all his paths are open. I guess I can feed, cat, you know, hits into his super attack or hold on to those for the, whenever I get the tech hit. But then there's actually a farmable strength hit. Um, I, I don't think he's out on global yet, which is so weird that they haven't done that yet. Um, but that's going to be when they re when they actually release Kael Khalifa, they'll have that revamped event. Um, so odd that they haven't shown up yet. Oh, that's good. Weighted clothing. Love seeing those fun animations. Not like it, it means anything. Like, I've heard so many of what he does. It's insane. Just like... I don't know. It, it just feels weird. Seeing all this cool animations and just being like, Well, I'm going to get a free-to-play LR that I've already rainbowed a long time ago. But, hey man. It is what it is. We knew what we were getting into. When we jumped into this friend summon. And this should be our last one. So, this is our 50,000th front point that we've used. Can we get something decent? An Elder Kai. Even a Dozy Kai. I'll take another Dozy Kai. I enjoy those. You know, they make me feel happy. Love the long there. Okay, obviously we're going to get more LRs. Yep, we already know this. That's, you know, understood. More than understood. And what is going to be our... All right, Princess Snake, Snake Way. That's fine. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we've put a small dent in the sheer amount of friend points that I have. Um, I'll be using it more and more throughout the... Um, coming days you know I, I really want to get down to about 500,000 friend points just so at that point if they do come out with a new LR free-to-play LR I'll have quite a lot to summon for uh, to be able to get those units and rainbow him the easy way the free-to-play not the easy way but the free-to-play way fully free-to-play way so appreciate you guys watching the video and if you liked it don't forget to Gently rub that subscribe button, gingerly ring that bell button, essentially kiss the like button. As always, this is periodic. See y'all in the next video.